of all of the time saving tools in CS5, Adobe Creative Suite, I think the rotor brush is the most time savingest of all. This is the rotor brush up here, and for those of you that have never done any rotor brushing before or rotoscoping, you don't know what I'm talking about. It's like deep etching at 30 frames a second. So we want to cut this guy out uh, of his background so we can make some sort of adjustment to it. Here's how we work. Here's how it works. Select the rotor brush. Double click on your clip here in the comp window. I'll drag this down. And then we can make our brush bigger or smaller. I'm just holding down the command of the control key. I can click and drag to make my brush bigger. And then simply draw over the character. And I know what you're thinking, Mike, that is a rubbish uh, selection. But don't panic because the rotor brush will find the edges for you. That's bloody amazing. Now, so you can see this a little bit easier. I'll just expand this up a little bit and zoom in. We'll get a slightly uh, smaller brush because we're missing our collar and then we can go ahead and fix that up. Now, the idea here is uh, we want to get this frame looking as good as we possibly can. So we're going to do that. But really, we've only deep etched or we've only rotoscoped out one frame at this stage and that's not good enough we've got a lot to do okay and one frame even though that was pretty quick we need to do a little bit more than that so now to do the next frame, I'm going to go ahead and hit 2 on the keyboard and you will notice that the edge follows along the rotoscoping is actually following our character for us and I'm just now tapping 2 on the keyboard as it propagates this all the way through and if I see a little bit on each frame I can just touch it up but I don't need to do the whole lot on every single frame so it makes it very quick and simple to start doing this type of rotoscoping there's another little bit over there and we just keep tabbing through now as we're going if we'd like to see what's going on with the mask or the alpha we can go ahead and click on that um, we can uh, toggle, uh, change the, the sorry the the overlay color. If we'd like to view it on a on an overlay, we can do that. We can toggle on transparency in the background if we'd like to see it against a transparent background. Uh, ton of stuff uh, we can do. Um, let me just toggle that back off. That looks good. Toggle the background on, and we'll keep going forwards through there. As a matter of fact, you can just hit the space bar and get. Um, Photoshop to, to go through and, and figure that out. Okay, so very easy to do. Now, I'm going to jump back out of this window here really quickly. Jump back out because we've been doing rotoscoping up here. And what I'd like to do is check uh, or, or figure out what's going on with that edge. And maybe I might like to smooth it out or, or add some blur or contract that alpha or do whatever. All of those options are available under the effect controls. Um, for fixing up that edge. We can press on this refine mat and you can see After Effects will even detect if there's a motion blur on some of these edges so that we can have a bit of a look. I can just scroll through and you can see on this top edge as our character is moving that that motion blur is detected and a little blur is put on that edge so that we can see our character as it's moving as he's moving rather as, or as the case may be. Now, without putting you all through the pain and suffering of how this uh, project ends out, I've already gone ahead and created one. And what we've done is we've rotoscoped out our character all the way through this clip and then simply duplicated the layer and then done a color correction uh, to him so that he stands out a little bit more from the background. But if you wanted to do something a little bit more than that, Perhaps you could come to the layer styles under layer in After Effects and maybe put a little outer glow on your character to make him, well, just a little bit more mysterious than he actually is. So when I come down here, we'll change the size of that outer glow and that's just going to expand um, beyond what we're seeing there. And now we can scroll through. Wow, that looks so mysterious and mystical. It's the new rotor brush tool in After Effects, CS5, 64-bit native, After Effects, it's fast, baby, it's fast!